Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. In today's video we're going to be finally doing an unboxing of the latest handheld from our friends in China and it is the Pow Kitty RGB10. Now I've had my eyes on this since day one, been really excited can't wait to see what it is. It's got the a new improved 3326 uh, chipset. It is essentially a, yeah, it's it's an RK2020 clone. It's, uh, it, it, it's another clone, but with a different chipset and it boasts a 1.5 megahertz speed. So enough rambling, let's get into it. I've had a look on YouTube, I've had a look on the net, there is nothing about this, and if there is people doing videos of it, they're showing like, FBA games, and yeah, just ridiculous, like, we want to see the nitty and the gritty, we want to see Dreamcast, we want to see N64, we want to see PSP running on this bad boy. So, yeah, I will try and get at least two to three videos out today of long testing gameplay. I'll also do a video of testing the OS. And just on that as well, guys, is I will now be doing another video today of the budget Huawei P30 Lite. Obviously for emulation testing on a cheap smartphone from our friends from China. I think I picked this up for about... A hundred and seventy two pound, I think. So really, really cheap. So we'll go over the specs. We'll go over some game testing. We'll go over some native Android gaming. And then also we'll uh, test out some emulation on this little thing just to see if it's for you with a budget smartphone. Are they worth it? 170 pound. Seems too good to be true. But we'll see. Okay, so not only do we get a lovely packaging that is quite reminiscent of the um, GPD, which is nice. I really like the black design, quite simple. There's nothing else at all bar the Pow, Pow Kitty, a little bit of labelling at the side, and a lovely little indication of what's inside, which is the RGB10. Coupled with that, you also get a lovely carrying case. It seems to be standard from Pow Kitty, but you know, it's really nice just to keep it protected. And if you're traveling anywhere to chuck it in the bag, it's always nice. Let's uh, open it up. Yep, just your pretty much standard. It's like a mini suitcase. Yeah, it comes in, keep all power cables at the top. Strap it in, really nice, padded inside. Yep, standard, lovely. Thank you, pal kitty. So I went with, I think it was, I think there's two, three versions. There's the 32 gig, 64 gig, and the one to eight gig. I went with the one to eight gig, even though I shouldn't because I end up just adding my own and putting my own OS on it. But I like to help a brother out and I always go for the highest priced one. So let's have a little look inside. Do we have anything on the bottom? No, nothing on the bottom. It's really tight and secure. This is where it's going to be a nightmare to get into it. I have no bloody nails. How to do a video on an epic fail of an unboxing 101. God, that's really tightly sealed. Right, I've cracked it open a little bit. I just need a little bit of an inch to pinch. There we go. Can I grip it? Yes, we're in. Yeah, whoever made this made it a millimetre too short and just bloody wedged it on. Well, it's nice to know that the packaging is secure. Okay. Usual standard plastic bag from our friends from China. Okay, what else do we get in the box? We get that plastic, foamy, spongy thingamabob. What have we got here? Okay, these are obviously caps to go over the 
analog stick, but they come in different shapes. They've got like different, I'll open them and show you them later maybe. So they've got like different grip pads on it. That's quite nice. I don't know about orange. They should have went with black or white, the aesthetic of the white really, because as you can see, it has one on, but the buttons are white. So why would you have a slapping big tangerine orange color? Don't like it, pal kitty, get it changed. Either, yeah, get a white one on there, and it'll get dirty, but we don't really want tangerine orange with yellow. The colours don't go. So, speak on the bottom, and then we have, obviously, a nice little port there to probably uh, put your ROMs on, which is really, really nice. The build quality feels really nice, to be honest. I know it's plastic, guys, but, yeah, we're continuing with the theme over the screws of... Little tactile pads. The cover. Yeah, it's quite nice. Nice design. On the right hand side we have nothing. On the top we're having some really nice clicky L1, L2, R2, R1. Nice. We have the SD card slot at the top, charging cable, headphone jack, standard. We also have a home button, it looks like, hopefully. R, so that'll be reset button, home button essentially. And then we have the power switch. We have start and select buttons at the top. Well, I know, I think they'll be navigation buttons. Okay, because at the bottom, I don't know if you can see, there's the start and select. I really like this design. wonder how big it compares to the RK2020. Two seconds, guys. Two seconds. Okay. What are we talking? What are we talking? Oh, it's slightly smaller by about five millimeters. And same height. Okay, so it's a little bit shorter. <laughs> I like it. The bezels seem to be nice and thin as well which is always good I wonder what OS image it's come with obviously I will be doing another video testing it with the RK punks 128 and um, because if it is hard kernel which I can imagine it will be it will use the same OS uh, cheeky but I think it's just going to be a standard moving forward for any devices like this in the future um, until they obviously do their own but I don't think they will they will cut corners so Let's power it up, shall we, and see what happens. Yeah, hot kernel. There we go. So it's running Emulec 3.5. So it's not the latest version. I think the latest version is 3.6. They've gone with the comic book theme. So CPS1, we've got 33 games. CPS 2, 38 games. CPS 3, we have 6 games. Not many for that anyway. Red Earth, um, the Street Fighter 3. Dreamcast, only 2 games. 3 games, should I say. Stingy, 1 to 8 card. 2 Game Boy games. 1 to 8 card. And they're putting the low amount on there. I'll be having words with them. 242, and I bet you they're all Chinese as well. I'll be having words if they do that. Oh, but they give me Game Boy Color 1479. Yeah, it's probably the least favorite Game Boy system. And you've given me the most games on it. Great. Doo -doo -doo. Mame. 207. Oh, you're having a laugh, pal kitty. Master System, Mega Drive, what have we got? Two, oh, you're having a laugh. Hopefully they've 
five oh 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 one to eight card and you put not many games on there i'll be definitely most definitely having words with you pal kitty i hope you're watching this is disgusting best say three oh no Three hundred and forty-eight Super Famicom, all the games, three thousand nine hundred and eighty-three. Didn't bloody seem like it. Yeah, something's seriously wrong there. If they're saying there's three thousand games on there. Anyway, I'll swap it all out anyway. I've got my own ROMs, so screw you. Uh, okay, let's do. So N64, how many games was there? Five. Hopefully, if we go into there, there's more than five. There isn't. We've got Diddy Kong Racing. We've got Donkey Kong 64, Mario Kart 64, Star Fox 64, and Super Mario 64. Japanese version. Great. Okay, out of these, I would say I'm going to test... Mario Kart. It's me, Mario. It's me, Mario. Am I gonna win? But yeah, it feels really comfortable. It's a great size. Buttons feel nice. To Mario Kart. Is this volume? No. Let's just get into it and I'll sort out volume in a minute. Mario Kart, Let's hope there's no stuttering on the start. That would be a good sign. No, still stuttering at the start. Okay, now it's up and running. It's quite nice. It's that I'm crap. I hate playing for this thing. No excuse for poor gameplay. Okay, initial start, a little bit of stutter, but as you can see, it's running perfectly fine, looks lovely. I know there's probably banding on the screen, but yeah, I'll put some, on the next video, I'll do some more intensive, hard to run games. Come on, get your shit together. Let's get first place. Final lap. Come back of the century. Not playing like that. Oh, there we go. Boom. Seven. Love it. Back to fourth. Give me something good. That'll do. That will do. Third. Shit start. Only really got a grip of it. Final lap. Into third. Podium. I'll take it. But won't accept it. Okay. So, yeah, double tap the button buttons to exit out. Let's go with some... It's me, Mario. It's me, Mario. Yeah, 
it's so light as well guys it's really light the d-pad feels lovely buttons feel nice pretty standard really analogio How is this going to run? So Fario, so Goodio. And you won't be able to play the game properly because it's in Chinese. Peach. Best learned language. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we've got no glitching, and it looks like it's running perfectly. I'm a happy man already. Really great screen, guys. Absolutely vibrant and colourful. As you can see, it's, yeah, I hope it's coming across. It's really nice. Now, let's see if when we walk... Oh, we've got the true analogue. Are we full speed? I think we are. A good old constant flip test. Okay, let's climb a tree for good luck. I know we've only got one speaker but it's quite a nice one i kind of like it and by the end of the year how many times i've actually seen the beginning of this game it'd be quite scary huh, 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 huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're running. We're, we're running. We're cooking with gas. And the buttons, can I get... Yeah, okay. I'm about to look up button. There's a duck and shoulders. Oh, let's move up a bit. What's this one do? Nothing. What's that one do? Nothing. Probably programmable. I'm looking for that all important behind the head scene. I uh, no. Because you can't look up, you can't play the game fully. I'm sure you can change the settings. Right, let's give it a blast. You can normally tell from the very, very start of the game whether it's choppy or not, or as it will not run full speed from the start. Okay, that was pretty cool actually. This looks absolutely gorgeous, man. Well done, pal kitty, so far. Well done. I'll be having words about the ROMs, though. But as performance wise, so far, we're good to go. Only N64 granted. But yeah, it's. It's good, it's good guys, it's really good. I'm not really noticing much difference over the uh, RK2020 performance wise, considering this is supposed to be a new chipset. But maybe that's something we'll see in when we start customizing the OS. it is an old firmware that we're on and using
A little sausage. Three times a charm. Be honest, I don't know why I saved it there because it's that ROM's going bye bye. The OS is going bye bye. MIB build and RK Punk build on its way. Sorry. Okay, so I take it we should just press start and it will come out of here. Um, okay, good for you guys. Okay, be for back. Where is Dreamcast? I don't want to see Dreamcast. Dreamcast, where are you? PlayStation. Has it disappeared? Am I? Am I just? Oh, here we go. What have we got here? Jet Set Radio, Res, and Sonic Adventure. Let's go with Sonic Adventure. Running around at the speed of sound. Right, come on. Copyright claim, here we come. Okay, selecting down does volume and I take it, selecting up does save slot, select right does load save slot. Usual standard stuff guys, usual standard stuff. Right, how are we running, come on. Snowboard these city streets, come on. Okay, yeah, it's running lovely. The controls are nice. Early versions of playing this game, the just the sensitivity on turning and stuff was just dreadful. Like you tap it left and you'd end up in the bloody side side sidewalk. But this, bar that bit of dodgy gameplay, you know, you it's got a, a lovely little bit of track on it. Smash the tram, boom.
Yeah, really responsive guys. Really nice as you can see. Frame rate is looking pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. Get free, follow, follow me, set me free. Oh yeah! Have a bit of that. Yeah, it's running really well, guys. About bloody time, I say. About bloody time. Hey, so when he just falls. Uh, we follow me. Copyright strike. I'll copyright you. Oh yes. Oh, what an absolute job's worth. Right, well that's it. Rage quit 101 right there. Okay, yeah, I don't really need to test anymore with that. Right, let's go to, it doesn't, I don't think I did see PSP either. Ah, eat my words, sunshine. Okay, this guy, they always put shit games, like that ultimate shift in, it's a shit game. Oh, Destiny Warriors, shit game. Really? Like, don't get me wrong, the Final Fantasy Beats and Love One's alright, but... Yeah. I think another video is in order today. Let's get rid of this OS and these ROMs because they're just shit. But as for the Pal Kitty RGB10, I'm absolutely digging it. Look at that IPS screen, it's really nice, man. Colours are vibrant. So far, so good, pal kitty. So far, so good. Well, that's good. The start button is actually the option button to bring up the settings in uh, PPSSPP. But you need that start button to go ahead and advance with that game. What? Oh, I can't wait to get rid of this OS. It is a piece of shit. Right, can we advance any further? Will it give me an option to actually advance? Select no, star, finish. And the star button, as you can see, is the option. Epic fail. This OS is crap. Right, another video for PSP, guys. Hold tight. I will do another video today. I'll swap the OS uh, and we'll get into this properly. But promising signs, though. That's, that's one thing we can take away, is that it's running really well. The battery life is boasting eight hours, guys. Eight hours. Wow. If that is the case, and we even five hours, that's fantastic. Size is nice. Feels good. Not really getting hot, but it's definitely started to be warm. Okay, what else, what else can we do on this crap OS? There's nothing else really, is there? Let's try another Dreamcast game. Let's go with Jet Set Radio. 
Love a copyright claim. God damn it. These musics on games, man, they absolutely kill you. Even if even if you have like 1.1 second, it like claims your whole video. Like, come on. Like, you know, my videos are normally like 50 minutes to like an, an hour and a half long. And then they copyright and take everything off me for one second bit of music. Like, no, there's like nearly an hour and a half's worth of content there. You cannot take all that off me just for one second. No. Get a grip. Get a grip, YouTube. And you greedy bastards out there that copyright claim. Relax, chill out. We're selling your products, God damn it! Right. Jet Set Radio! Let's get stretching. Now, this run okay, but it was choppy as hell. So let's see if we can actually get some smooth frame rates out of this. Really promising though so far guys. Oh yeah, it's way smooth. Jump on the car. Let's just go for a little spin. Oh, you can't. Okay, fair enough. Hey, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's running well. Okay, I'm going to leave this one for the first one, guys, because basically it's only an unboxing. A little bit of light gameplay. Let's get this OS. I, 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 unless I'll have a word with Pal Kitty about the amount of ROMs that are on there for the 128 gig image. Um, in fact, let's, before we go anywhere, because I don't think that's good enough, really, in all honesty. I think it's a bag of shit. But we'll turn it off. We'll see if they actually indeed did. I suppose, in one way, it leaves you room to add your own ROMs, doesn't it? You know, I suppose there's pl uh, pluses and minuses about it, really. But let's see if indeed that was the one to eight card. Oh, fingers and thumbs today. Yeah, one to eight. At least it is the one to eight card. Okay. I'll be getting rid of you. Yeah, first impressions, guys. I like it. I absolutely like it. I think it's a fantastic add, add to the collection. Add, add. Uh, yeah. Buttons are really nice. It just feels well made really really solid well made yeah let's hope this battery life is up to eight hours as they state it's simple calculus anyway against the watt of the unit against what uh, the watts are against the battery um so i'd say more six and a half maybe but still that's very impressive if you take it to work on your routes and trips to work that's well enough to get it there and back uh, a good bit of gameplay yeah, and as you could see by the uh, emulation so far, um, it's very promising. Now, as I say, I will literally, hopefully at some point today, I will um, get everything all sorted, get it all swapped over and make sure that you guys uh, get to see some proper games running on there. Some hard, hard to push 64 games. Let's test Conker's Bad Fair Day. Um, Star Wars Rogue Squadron, you know, let's get some really hard games and really push push this little unit to see what it can do. Love to know what you think so far, guys. I, I, 
I know there's a lot of people that have mentioned in the comments when I've done the community post that they've actually ordered it and they're waiting on it themselves. I don't think you're going to be disappointed, guys. Um, it's a great little bit of kit already. Um, you know, I never tell you guys to get it. You make your own decision through the videos. I try and let the games do the talking. But just for the unboxing, um, yeah, I'm very satisfied and happy with the build. Everything seems to be seamless. Really nice. There's no jagged edges. Everything's perfect. The buttons feel really nice. They're not wobbling about everywhere. It's just a solid build. Well done, pal kitty. Well done. About bloody time. Yeah, really nice. D pad's lovely. I will test it with some games though. These did absolutely nothing, so I, I don't know what's going on with them, um, whether they can be programmed or they're just there for simple purposes, but who knows, aesthetic purposes. But the start and select is nice. Yeah, I really, I like it, I like it. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Uh, and yeah, look forward to a couple more videos today, hopefully. Uh, but as always, guys, take care. Let's get, in fact, let's get some bloody likes. The last couple of videos, man, my likes have been really low. Come on, guys, I can't grow as a channel. If I don't get those likes, come on, smash it. Climb on your wardrobe, jump off from a great height and a few backflips and literally smash that like button. Come on, please. Really helps the channel out, guys. Really helps the channel out. Let's see if we can get 300 likes for this. I'd, I, do you know what? I'd, I'd do a backflip and record it and show you on a trampoline mind. <laughs> Take care.